Hey y'all, what's up? This is Bunny D93, and I'm coming at y'all with a detangling process that I use just to let y'all know a little something, something. So yeah, I have already washed and conditioned my hair, and I wash my hair. Y'all already know. What's up, y'all? I wash my hair with the olive oil creamy aloe shampoo. I hope y'all can hear my sound so low. Uh, yes. And then I condition with the leave-in cream conditioner by uh, Cream of Nature. It's the lemongrass and rosemary. I condition with that. And then I use this lovely gold right here. It's called castor oil hair treatment. And it's uh, with mink oil. And it's a hair and scalp moisturizing, healing, strengthening, and conditioning. I got this like at one of these supply stores. I can't even tell you. I think that was in Hoover. Because it was like a dollar. And I was like, oh, for real? Put that in there, you know? She's like, oh, okay, okay. And uh, then, of course, the infamous right here, the B&B &B oil moisturizer, which I will put on probably... I may put it on and I may not put it on because I'm going to flat iron my hair. So hopefully I can show that to y'all. But I also did a deep conditioning and a hot oil treatment with uh, regular olive oil. And I just put it in a pot and some water and I let it kind of simmer or get hot. I didn't bring it to a boil for it because it will uh, almost bust the plastic if your uh, what you call it, if your olive oil is in plastic. It will kind of like deteriorated or something it will make it not functional how can i say this it won't be able to sit up straight there you go i'm gonna have a water bottle because of course our hair draws in moisture and right after i washed my hair it started drying like nobody's business and i was like oh no <laughs> oh no so what i have on my head i have sectioned my head is not this is finger sections this is not like i literally took my wide tooth comb, you know, and just went through there and parted like precisely. I I don't have to do all that. I know where it's at. I know where to part at, you know. I did also grease my scalp with this. And I put this all over my head after I washed it out with the shampoo and conditioner. Then I put just a little bit all over my head because my hair was like really, really dry. I didn't know what was happening. But that's because I didn't know my scalp. But, um... This is how I section my hair. I have one, two, three, four. Four on this side and four on this side. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah. That's how I section my hair. It does better for me. My hair is too thick to just do only uh, four sections. I mean, I can. But uh, my hands get that tired. So, I don't feel like doing all that. So, what I'm going to do, I'm like, why is my music not playing? But that's because... I was talking so I have done all that put all my olive oil um you know my castor oil and it's still a little damp I always work with damp hair because that means it's more flexible for natural people that is relaxed hair people I wouldn't recommend putting like well you can if you wash your hair you can put all this in there but then again be uh wise about product build up you know, don't put everything in your cabinet in your head. So yeah, what am I gonna do? I'm finna uh, take my wide to comb. I was gonna use this, but I mean we can try and see. But I just don't really like to use it all that much. And this is the bell. If you guys can see that, this is the bell. Uh, what you call it? Brush detangling brush and it's like the copper one or something I really don't like to use it because I be feeling like um it's pulling my hair at the socket so I use that for my ends and then I use my wide tube comb which I got for probably like 69 set at my local beauty supply store and I use my hand to guide it out that's what I do I mean, the little brush for my ends, it does do better than the comb. Because I know the comb, I'd be like, come on, you know, come on. But, yeah. And all my hair, my whole head is natural except for, like, probably a centimeter. Because I don't feel like going back and cutting that. I can actually see, like, 
those little stragglies right there that's perm i mean i couldn't cut that but i don't want to because that's probably like length and i like length on my head and some people don't care you know you can go ahead and cut it but i'm making sure i could put my comb through it at least three times and if not i just go back and start from the bottom I always start from the bottom on any type of hair. That's everybody, not just, you know, me. But yeah, that's detangled. And now, I am going to, I wish I could feel this, it's very soft. <laughs> I'm going to take it and part it down the middle. Well, half it down the middle. Get enough on each side that you can do a big old fat jumbo twist all right all right did y'all see that and i just twisted it and i'm gonna keep twisting and these are not like perfect twists because i'm finna put it back up in one of these clamps i'm just twisting it to keep it Oh, moisturize and goody goody all up in there. And I wrap it around. And this can be a style. I mean, you know, you put you some, uh, there's a client. You know, put you some, um, leave in conditioner and some oil and some, um, you can get some mousse or some satin lotion, you know. And twist it like that and that'll be starting to just be like straight up volume. That's all I have to say. It won't really be like a uh, a twist out. It'll be like volume, voluminous curls. That's what I was trying to say. But yeah, that's how I do it. And I did this one and this one. So, I mean, you guys can watch other videos. But that's how I detangle my hair. And the process, I mean, it's kind of long. All it really is, is parting. That's kind of the long part and detangling it with the comb or with the uh, paddle brush. So yeah. Thank y'all. Bye.